What's up Guiding Bolt fans? Jessica here and today we're revisiting respirators for cosplay. A few weeks ago we talked about wearing a respirator when crafting for safety and how to choose appropriate filters. In response to that video I had a viewer request a video that covered how to wear and fit check a respirator. So that's exactly what we're going to discuss today. The first thing I'll say is that if you can get tested by a fit test administrator, then please do that. Conduct a search online to see if there are options near you. Next, I want to remind you that today's video is not a substitute for reading the safety literature that comes with your respirator. While we'll be covering fit check items that apply to most respirators you'd use for cosplay, it's still good to know any specifics related to your brand and model. Finally, unfortunately, I can't recommend actual product sizes to you. Everyone's face shape and size are different, so you'll have to figure that out on your own using today's fit check recommendations to help you do so. With that fun stuff out of the way, let's jump in how to wear and fit check your respirator. My recommended steps are similar to the qualitative fit test steps that a fit test administrator would do. And in case you're interested in looking up more information, there are two types of tests, the qualitative fit test and the quantitative fit test. The qualitative test is based on the user sensors, while the quantitative test relies on machines. So, when it comes to fit checking a respirator, it's important to also wear other equipment you normally have on when using your respirator. So, things like safety goggles or glasses are a great example in our case. We want to conduct our, fist our fit test while wearing all applicable equipment at once to ensure one does not interfere with the other. For today's video though, I'll just be wearing my respirator for ease of shooting, but make sure you test with all the appropriate equipment. So as a reminder, I use the 3M6502 QL respirator. So respirators are soft and flexible on the inside in order to help them contour to your face in order to create a seal to your skin. That seal is very important. If you have long hair, you might need to pull it back so it's out of the way. And if you have facial hair, you will need to shave to ensure a proper seal can be formed. When wearing the respirator, you want to ensure that the straps are cinched down so that they're snug but comfortable. You want them tight enough to keep the respirator in place without causing discomfort by pulling on your neck or head. For the first part of a fit test, put your respirator on, adjust the straps as necessary, then simply wear it for five minutes. The point of this is to ensure that it's comfortable to wear. If it's not, you might be less inclined to wear it when you should or you could end up giving yourself a headache, for example, from too tight straps. So let's go ahead and put our respirator on. And remember, because mine is the QL model, I do have this quick release latch here, which makes it easy to pull it up and down from my mouth. For the next step of the fit test, you'll want something smelly. A fit test administrator would use one of four OSHA accepted test agents, isomyl acetate, saccharine, vitrix, or an ear tip smoke. For your at home test, I would recommend trying a bathroom that has been freshly cleaned with bleach, using the smoke from a campfire, or even a rag that's been soaked in perfume. Please note that directly breathing any of these items in large amounts isn't really the best thing for your lungs. So with your respirator on, move into the space of the scented item that you'll be testing with. For at least 30 seconds each, perform the following exercises. 
normal breathing and deep breathing. Moving your head side to side and moving your head up and down. And also bending over. While wearing your respirator, also do exercises of talking, including smiling and frowning. You can't see it, but I'm smiling and frowning right now. So during each of these exercises, your respirator should maintain its seal around your nose and mouth. None of the scent should get in because it should be passing through the respirator filters. Now, the final step to a fit check are the pressure seal checks. A positive pressure check means blocking the exhalation valve, usually by using your hand and trying to breathe out. On my mask, the valve is down here. If a slight pressure builds up, that means the air isn't leaking around the edges of the respirator. A negative pressure check involves blocking the intake valves, again, typically using your hands and trying to breathe in. If no air enters, the seal is tight. And that pretty much sums it up when it comes to wearing and conducting a fit check for your respirator. I hope this video was helpful. If you have additional questions or video recommendations, please let me know down below in the comments. Enjoy your cosplay crafting time, and we'll see you all back here next week.